guys so as you heard at the start of the video um, I've had a go at making the JP95 uh, John Petrucci signature wah pedal uh, in the helix um, which is a bit of a challenge um, but I thought well we like a challenge so let's go for it so looked at the manual for the Dunlop wah there is a specific set of EQ curves that are in that wah and a frequency response of what well, actually says between 220 and 1.5 kilohertz but as you can see here, I've set it between 240 and 1.5. I found 220 just a little bit too deep. Um, so I'll just show you quickly basically what I've done to achieve this. Um, and yeah, I hope it's of use. So cheers, guys. Right. So first up, we've got this parametric EQ. Um, so we're cutting a little bit at 100 hertz. We're boosting quite a bit at 400 hertz. And we're boosting even more at 800 hertz. Okay. Um, and then I've got a second EQ block because unfortunately there's only three bands um, in each parametric and we need six. Um, well, at least five anyway, because the first one I'm not using on here. Um, so that's that's completely, you can ignore that top one, the 110 hertz. Um, the second one is set at 1.6 um, and I'm boosting that at 1.7 dB. Uh, and the third one at 3.2 and I'm cutting that uh, just by 1.5 dB there. Um, and then the last thing to do to make this usable um, is basically you go to the bypass assign and make sure that the both EQs are set to EXP toe. Um, so when they're set to EXP toe, uh, as you can see, if I just go over to the Helix now and I press the wah wah pedal in, you can see it all lights up. Um, and then do the same again and it all bypasses. So once you've done that, um, basically that's it. You're off and, off and running, as they say. So I hope that's of use, guys. Um, like I say, unfortunately, it's not doable without the two EQ blocks at the start. Um, I hope that Line 6 put a John Petrucci signature uh, while modeling at some stage. That would be brilliant. Um, but until then, this is a workaround. So I hope you enjoy. Cheers, guys.